Okay, so it's day one here at the main event. Um, my first show of this year in Santa Barbara. We could have managed to do the Festival of Power because we were actually at the truck fest event. So at the moment, we're just getting the truck ready. We're on the final bits now. Just got to check the shock absorbers over. Um, make sure they got all the right pressures in it. So we set the height of what we want. So we set 11 inches in the front and 13 inches in the rear. Um, if we was doing like a, a racing show, we'd actually run them a bit lower. Um, but because um, we're not in the air that long, we need the shock absorbers to make sure they fully drop out. So if you're doing a racing show, you'd run them at uh, eight and um, 11 in the back. So we just run them a little bit hard for this type of show, especially when we're on tarmac. <laughs>
watched the second show, um, Matt said when we was landing and the wheel was shaking backwards and forwards. So we've gone through the truck, so we checked the king pin to make sure they haven't come loose and they haven't. But what it is, the movement is in here, so the wheel bearing has either collapsed or just come loose. So we're just going to take it apart now to check the wheel bearing. Day two here at the main event. Gone through Swamp Thing, so we fixed the wheel bearing last night. It had just come a little bit loose, um, so we've tightened that up. Truck is all ready to go. We've already been fairly busy in the arena this morning. So on the last show yesterday, we had a Ford Mondeo, and they are one of my least favorite cars to, to hit. Um, I'll show you what that looks like. So this car, um, they're not very strong at the back. Uh, basically what happens is the back goes down it pushes all the way up to the front and it makes a really high piece so this bit here ends up really high so but so this is what we've got today so we've got that one there was a jag uh, i'm not really sure what that one was i think that, that was a mondeo that was an astra and today we've got the Vauxhall Insignia. I've had one of these before. I quite, these aren't uh, actually a bad car to hit. Oh, the one I didn't know was was a uh, Alfa Romeo. Um, yeah. It's quite windy again, but the sun is starting to come out. That's why I've got my shades on. Um, but the bank in it is already filling up, and we've only had a few drags down the minute. But yeah, so let's have a look at some of the dragster action that's happening here at Santa Fe. personalized number plate and some people have some really good ones in the back end around
guys, we've just done the first show and the monster truck, it is really hot today and it's a little bit low on oil pressure. So we're just doing an oil change just to see if the oil pressure comes straight back up. Uh, it normally on tick over, it runs at about 60 PSI and it's running at 50. Um, but I did notice when you hit the brakes, it does drop off. Now the pickup is back here on the monster truck. Um, so the oil does go forwards. Um, uh, but it has got baffles in there, so we're just doing an oil change. I'm changing the filter as well, just in case the filter was getting a little bit of restriction on it. So we should be good to go, but of course, we're using the best oil, Lucas Oil. So, just putting all the engine oil back in now, and of course we're using Lucas Oil, Lucas oil Heavy Duty Stabiliser. This thing is great because it stops you having a, a dry start, so it always leaves a film of oil on your engine. Two wheels, two wheels, can you hold it? Yes, we can. And look who's getting out of the passenger door. It's Lee Bowers. Steady, <laughs> Lee, <laughs> step. Are we going to try and turn? Yeah, we are. Can he hold it on the turn? Give him a wave as he comes past the back. He's out again. There's Lee Bowers. Houston, we have a problem. of day two here at Santa Pod and we're just looking at the scrap car so this BMW has had four hits on it the thing we're looking at is this bit here this bit here can catch the brake disc so I, my brake discs have got guards around them but we still don't want to hit the guard on there as well so all we're going to do in a minute just having a sweep up with the broom sweep all the debris underneath the car and then we get the forklift and see if we can push down the roof in the middle if we can't we go and get a different car and put that one in so the BMW is fairly good at the moment but in that last show Gary did that huge sky that is on the car and it ripped the boot and it clean off it just ripped the skin clean off the back of the car so that was a hell of a job I thought he was gonna go over backwards but check out this <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
first jump really was So it's the last day here at the main event and we've just done the first show and we've bent a brake disc. Now my brake discs are solid, they're not on or bell. So if we tap them on a car, it just deforms them a little bit and then we just change the whole thing. So what my brake disc is, pass that one out back from underneath. So that is that is my brake disc, so that's a solid steel plate made of boiler plate and it's just as a relief and this goes behind the prop shaft flange. So Matt's just having to take off the prop shaft, they have to take the brake caliper off so we can just get to that and then put a new one on and then we're ready to go again. But I'm just going to go around doing the rest of the checks. Also on Podzilla's truck at the minute, um, he's actually got no oil pressure. Um, they cracked the fitting off to where the oil should be coming out of and there's no pressure coming out of that. So I said, just pull the distributor out now. The bit what cannot sometimes break, you can actually but, um, snap the gear off the bottom of the distributor because the camshaft actually drives the oil pump from the, from the distributor. And I've had it where that bit's fallen off. So they're just gonna pull that out now and see if that is the problem. So we're getting, we're in the trailer, getting ready for the final show. Wow, what a thrash was it to get it ready for the last one. So, been having a lot of little problems with Swamp Pig this weekend. Um, it's been getting a bit hot again, which is a bit weird. So we've changed the rotation on the fans now. And I'm gonna redo how the fans are mount mounted once we get back. But we've got another show that I'm not actually going back to the workshop. So we've got another show coming up. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna have to do that when I get back. But also, we've just checked the timing. Of the timing was a little bit out, and we've took some fuel out of it because I actually put a different pill in it this morning, and, and I think I went a bit too far. I went two steps, so we got one step backwards. So we're still um, one up from where we normally are. Um, and the reason for that is the supercharger is really fresh, it's really tight. We took the belt off it this morning, we was turning it over and you can barely turn it over by hand. So it's getting a lot of pressure and a lot of heat, well, sorry, a lot more air into the engine. So we need more fuel to cope with that. And I think we're getting on top of it because we just it just sounds really crisp now, but we'll find out in the next show. But let's check out some footage from other things in the live action arena, especially Lee Bowers on his new Royal Enfield motorcycles. Now he's slowing down and it's all about balance and control. Look, the blue smoke still coming off the rear wheel, Steve still keeping the burnout going. Look at that for balance! Here we go! Oh, 
to finish that jump off a slap wheelie. We're going to try it and do it again. Maybe clear the entire stack for this final jump. Bruce, if you're ready. Tony Nixon is ready. Can everybody wave to him? Come on, please. Give him a big wave, everybody. All the way around the arena. Count me down. Three, two, one, go. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And thank you for your support on our channel. It's been most appreciated. Suck me in, smoke, breathe me in, and let me go. Filling the lungs inside you.